Hoshi was a very interesting character because her journey in the show paralleled my journey as a person. I had just graduated drama school and it was my maybe uh, third month in LA, Los Angeles, when I got this job. So like similarly to Hoshi, she was just in school um, teaching but hadn't gone out into the job, into space. It was. Yeah, it was um, her bridging academia with actual action, and I was bridging academia of drama school with the actual job of now filming a huge Paramount production on, you know, the stages where they shot all the Hitchcock movies, and it was a lot to absorb, it was a lot to take in, and I was learning on the job every single day, and I made lots of mistakes in the same way that Hoshi made a lot of mistakes, and. And the biggest thing I had to battle within myself, I'm sure everyone can relate to this, I had to battle my own self-doubt and my own fear because I had no experience behind me to give me that confidence of, I know what I'm doing, I've you know been at this rodeo before, I, I know. For me, it was all the first time, so I was constantly questioning myself and I didn't know how to do things. I didn't know how to be in front of a camera, I didn't, and the same way Hoshi didn't know how to deal with um, actual um, hostility in, in space, didn't know how to deal with her life being in danger, didn't know how to. So in the very first episodes, we deal a lot with that. Her decision whether she belongs in space or not, maybe she should go back and just be a teacher, maybe she should. And so her journey in the first season is getting her sea legs saying, earning her right to say, I actually belong here. I have a place here. I belong here as much as anybody else belongs here. And I had to prove that to myself as Linda, as an actress, that I belong here. I belong um, in this job. I deserve this job to be, you know, on this TV set and to have this TV show. I deserve it. Um, but it took a while for me to get there. So Hoshi, in, in, in a sense, on the whole spectrum, if T'Pol is the most alien of every the cast members, Hoshi is the most human of all the cast members. And that, I think, was an important place for me to hold. And some of the fans had, um, you know, annoyance around Hoshi's always, like, screaming and yelling, and she's always scared. But... I sacrifice myself to that and, and the fans being annoyed because I think that's important to show like that not everybody is brave right off the bat and they're like, I'm a superhero and I, you know, the, the, the hero, the hero stance that, that, um, that, Hey, if you were probably out in space and having to see certain things, you, and you'd never been in space before, you'd never just, most people would probably be as annoying as Hoshi was with the with the the fear and the screaming and all of that. But um, uh, I I love her entire her entire journey. And then in the final season, you get to see the alternate universe. You get to see you know an alternate version of Hoshi. But it's still Hoshi, but you get to see someone who has no fear, who takes what she wants, doesn't apologize for herself, has no real remorse about anything, and is incredibly ambitious. And so I'm glad I finally got to do that alternate universe. Mm -hmm. 